Hello guys, it is Somber here, and today I bring to you some extremely sad news depending on whether or not you play Java Edition. It's barely been 2021, and already we've heard the news that Minecraft Earth is shutting down, and now, unfortunately, I bring to you the news that the Java Edition of the Hive is shutting down. I'm going to go ahead and read to you their forum post on it from the official Hive team, and then I'm going to give you my thoughts on it. Let's get started. <clears throat> when we started the Java Edition version of the server, Almost eight years ago, everything was fresh. As new versions of Minecraft were released, it came with a refreshing amount of content that in turn would make it onto our server and into the games. With Bedrock, we have just that. We have new and exciting client updates coming to the game nearly every month. Within less than a week, over 95% of our player base have updated to the newest version available. The most considerable advantage for us is not being limited by developing for a version of the game that came out over five years ago. Many of you will, many of you will have noticed that the Java edition of the Hive has been receiving a decreased amount of resources as the months have gone on. On April 15th, the Hive Java edition will be closing its doors. This was an incredibly tough decision to make. Some of you may look to Bedrock as an excuse for Java going, but in reality, the Java server would have closed its doors a few years ago if it wasn't getting the funding from Bedrock. We kept the Java server online even when eating into our personal savings. Why? Multiple version support, spigot efficiency, staff cost, and user license agreement to name a few. With our current technology stack, it costs us more money to host 3,000 concurrent Java players than 30,000 Bedrock players. In the coming months, we'll create and release an open source version of Trouble in Mindville and a light version of our mini game framework on GitHub. Community members can update, add new features, and maintain the game. This will be free for you to use for any purpose. You'll also find a collection of maps that we have made over time. We cannot host any community maps as we wouldn't want to assume their position for this. We will continue to host the player stats for people who use our API for at least 12 months. With the immediate effect, we have taken our store offline. Anyone who has bought Ultimate or Emerald in the last six months from this post are invited to contact accounts at ivemc.com for a full, no-hassle refund whilst keeping the rank. Make sure to include your Minecraft name, UUID, and the transaction ID. Additionally, anyone who has ever bought, bought Emerald or Ultimate on our server will be able to click here to claim a free Hive Plus rank for the Bedrock server. Furthermore, we have stopped any rank promotions from happening from this point on. This means if you have a gold or diamond rank that would be expiring, it will now stay until the server closes. All the current information we, plan we have to give you is in the above post. Please not contact helpers, moderators, others for more details so they don't have them. We currently, currently plan to keep the forum and Discord channels open while conversation remains civil. So, my initial thoughts are, I have not played Java Edition that much. I have played the Hive version, Hive Java Edition, probably four to five times, and I have a really bad computer, so it wasn't the best experience, but that was on my end. The time that I did play it was, it was interesting. It was definitely, it was interesting playing Java because they just have tons of other features that I've never seen on Bedrock. Like Java, you can manipulate people's camera. So it was interesting to see that. But to be honest with you, this news does not affect me that much. However, I can understand why someone that plays Java and also plays the Hive Java edition is probably going to be pretty either sad, mad, or both of those emotions at the same time. There's a few things I take from this though. First of all is the B costume on the Hive that you get from being a Java player that bought ultimate is probably gonna be one of the rare skins in existence when this happens because it's permanently you can never get it actually if you go and look at the tebex store for the hive it is already shut down there's a screenshot of that on screen now so first of all there's going to be rare items but also i'm assuming the developers from the java version of the game are going to be moving to Bedrock. I do not know. I'm guessing that those are highly skilled developers already, and it will not take them that long to switch to a new coding language. I could be wrong on that. Or they might already know it. Either way, this is probably going to be a positive for the Bedrock version of the game for multiple reasons. We're getting more developers. The Hive is consolidating their basically their portfolio they don't have to update or mess with java edition anymore they can focus on one version of the game and i think one of the big reasons they're doing this is because the end user license agreement for java edition says you cannot make money off of their game or anything on minecraft you have to do donations 
And I think that really is hurting their game right now. Like, they can't directly sell stuff while in the Bedrock Edition, they already, they can literally, they have a store, an official store with an official currency, that being mine coins. So honestly, this makes sense to me. I was reading through the comments, everyone seems pretty sad. I did see a few people hating on Bedrock, which I kind of find funny because they literally said the only reason Java has been being able to be stay open is because of Bedrock. So I don't know why you'd have that opinion. So, also, I'm really hoping we're going to be getting the Java extremely more mature player base from Java switching over to bedrock obviously they don't know how to do things like jump bridging right now most of them will already be able to pick up stuff like that quickly but it's probably going to be crazy having to fight skilled java players like right off the bat that's going to be extremely interesting having more skilled players on the server second the player count might go up slightly i mean the hive doesn't actually have that many people on their java servers one of the reasons why they're shutting it down but it will definitely be interesting to see. Also, it's, I wonder if people on Discord will be able to keep their ranks, like their purple and green names from Emerald or the gold rank. That, I think, is a really cool badge of, like, basically honor that they were the ones that played on Java Edition. I think that's really cool. I hope they get to keep their ranks. But I almost wonder if this is also linked to the fact that Hypixel, I'm pretty sure, broke the, like, I think it was like 70,000 player like record on a server. I think it was like 100,000 that they broke like that was like two months ago. So obviously Hypixel is remaining on Java, but I almost wonder if we'll see more Java edition servers starting to shut down and continue to focus on their bedrock operations, like maybe Mindplex or something. Because I know they've had have been having a ton of issues, but we will see. Once again, I'm going to say, if you are a Java player, I am extremely sorry for your loss because I can see and respect why you are probably not going to be switching to Bedrock. We are an extremely buggy game. Our player base is not known for being mature, so that's going to be kind of annoying for you. Like, I'm not trying to make a generalization that all players in Java are more mature, but at the same time, you have to have a computer to play Java, and you usually a pretty high-end one, meaning either built or bought that yourself, which in the end means you're probably a more mature player and probably older, but sometimes that's not the case, but usually it is. I would love to see you guys on Bedrock because honestly, we have the memes about saying Bedrock has a huge kid player base is unfortunately true and it's sometimes annoying, but we'll see how it goes. If you are a Java player, Please tell me what you think of this in the comments below. But that is pretty much it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I understand I haven't been posting content for a really long time, but I should be back. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe, like this video, and if I made sense of thing that you disagree with, tell me in the comments. And thank you for watching.